Jumper is knocked away. But St. Albert still has the puck. It's Rubtash from the line, tipped on goal, and Esler makes the save. But now St. Albert's second opportunity will escape the zone, although Armstrong puts it right back in before knocking Chuck right to the ice. St. Albert looking for the opposite outcome, and they get their wish, but bah, that's a big hit thrown by Peck as he sent a right pad stop for Zarowski, his finest of the game so far. Now the puck comes to the slot, Hanson shoots. He, no, they wave it off. Hansen upends his man no. by Spencer is knocked away. Now a pass in front. Peckler is denied point blank by Zarowski. By Esler, and here's Hallett. He's got a two-on-one with Perry. Hallett to Perry, and he couldn't settle it down. Now Halat on the back door, and he was stopped by Kai Zarowski. With a couple of excellent opportunities there. Now Pisani to Lejoie at the far side, and a save made by Esler. And it's cleared out to center, tipped in. Here's a chance for Hallett. Coming in, Hallett shoots, and a glove save made by Kai Zarowski. Young goaltenders in the province. Now up top, a hard shot save. The rebound is there. Oh, what a stop by Esler. Oh my goodness, he got across and robbed Ty Minya blind. One of the stops of the tournament already. I can't believe Carter Esler made that save. By Hallett, and now a turnover. Here's a breakaway chance for Hayes. Short-handed right in, and that one went off the goal post. Handed down low by Carter. Sabres have it. Down low. On it there is Lejoie in front. They score! Finally, Ozzie McIntyre off a quick little dish by Matthew Lejoie. Deposits past Carter Esler and St. Albert leads 1-0. To the left side. Now across ice and Milford had to pick it up off the carom. Back up top, Ailman shooting. Scores! Power play goal, Drayton Ailman. And the Oilers have drawn even. It's 1-1 late in the second. The defender Ailman was tipped. Nevertheless, here's a chance again. Hayes passes it off, and that one's shot wide by Cade Pearson. And now a penalty coming up. Towards the goal, and he had the puck knocked off his stick by Drayton Ailman. Now the puck sent toward the net. It's still free. Oh, how did they not score? Carter Esler goes. Here they come, three across their own blue line. Pass sent to the open wing, McCann couldn't find it. St. Albert can't clear. Hallett shoots, scores! Adam Hallett unloads a deceptive wrist shot past Kai Zarowski. And with five minutes and 15 seconds gone in period number three, the Oilers. Now the other way, here's Hallett again, coming in. Hallett shoots, save, the rebound is there. Oilers looking for it, save made by Zarowski. Oh, Zarowski settles it down, leaves it there for his defenders, Sullivan Fogelin. He turns it over, and it deflects in. Caden Hayes from below the goal line. Menya. In the middle, Lejoie, backhander, Pisani shoots, and a great save made as Esler slides across to his left. Back to Lejoie, now on the left side, a long shot save, the rebound is there, Esler says no a couple of times, but again, the Oilers can't get it out. Pass, across, they score! <laughs> Relentless pressure on the power play results in St. Albert finally getting one pass. Lesty. Risk playing with a broken one, which can constitute a penalty. Now a big hit thrown by Armstrong as he... McCann down low, finds Hallett. Adam Hallett to McCann in the middle. He passed it off, a shot, they score! Garrison Peck converts off a three-way passing play. And with 4.55 left, the Oilers restore their two-goal lead. Puck is cleared, here's Milford coming in one on one. Milford, wide, he's got Morrow driving, and Morrow fired it off the post, maybe. Zarowski. Again, St. Albert can't get it out. Hayes has Hallett, Hayes on goal, Hayes, he scores! Another goal off a St. Albert turnover,
Caden Hayes makes hay again. He's second of the third period as the Oilers up 5-2. Final Oilers goal of this contest as time expires here in this third period. And despite a great showing from the St. Albert Sabres, it's the Okotoks Oilers ultimately prevailing. Five to two here on home ice on day one of the 2023 U15 AAA Provincials.